how to lay bricks right I'd just like to say if there's anyone out there who can lay bricks who's got any tips for me um, I'd be appreciated if you could maybe just give us some tips um, tell me what I'm doing wrong leave a comment so uh, I'm not in this video I'm not going to be talking about the footings or really I'm not going to be showing you the how to do the mixers but uh, this is just a how to lay bricks so you just get get yourself a good mortar mix and make sure your footings are level so just butter up the brick the end of the brick it takes some practice but you just knock it down to the string line make sure it's on the, on the line um, and the joints are all even it's all in the knack it's all uh, oops knocked a brick off see that little bit of paper that just holds the line down just fold a little bit of paper up and that'll just nip the line So you need to get good with your trowel. Don't go to Poundland and get a trowel. You want a good trowel. I spent about 40, 40, 50 quid. 40, 50 pounds. Um, you can work that out in dollars. Um, I suppose that would be... Um, well, I'm not too good at my exchange rates, but I suppose about $80, $70 something like that probably all cheaper out there anyway because we live in rip off Britain so you can see I'm just putting it down then just that little tap on the top of the mortar just to smooth it all out so the trick is not to smear it on the face of the brick although it doesn't matter at the minute what I'm doing now because these are all below ground level so just use the end of the trowel to tap it down there So, you know, if you're going to be doing some brickwork yourself, um, I would recommend just get used to the trowel. And uh, the more you do it, the easier it'll get. But get yourself a decent trowel. And you'll need a good level as well. A decent spirit level. got any questions just leave a comment and I'll uh, answer back you will also need a mixer here's one I've got Are you feeling dizzy yet? Because I am. Yep. This is every brickie's nightmare. Rain. Just washes the joints out, makes a right mess. Well, it's been rained off now, so... There's no point in laying bricks when your mortar's going to get washed out of the joints. So that's one of the corners built. So what you do is you build each corner first or each end first. So I'm just 
building up the other corner now, the other end of the wall, and then I'll fill it in when I've got both the ends up. Do 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 um Just make sure that end one is nice and level. You can see I'm just scraping off the excess. Now, that's when you've got to be careful because you'll, if you're not careful enough, you'll smear mortar all over the face of the brickwork. And that's what you don't want to do. You do not want to be finishing your brick wall and saying, "Oh, we might as well render it now." That's a fail. making sure it's all plump because the gate's going to go on there so that needs to be plumb that level There's a bit of time lapse for you build at each end of your wall first and they're just the pillars on top you don't have to have those obviously now I'm going to be capping these walls with um, a coping stone but I'll just show you this now back to pointing so this is a pointing iron um, it's got several names I just call it a pointing bar a striking bar pointer striker if you've got any more names for it, can you please let me know? Can you spot my deliberate mistake? So I'm just doing all the uh, vertical ones first, and then you go along the horizontal once all the, all those are done. So you can get that point at any. Uh, building centre, DIY store, probably best off going to a building centre though, it's quite a specialist thing, I mean not a lot of DIYers have a go at brickwork, but hopefully you can watch this video and get some uh, tips off it and have a go at it yourself. If you've got a hole in your pointing, just scrape a bit up like that. Just chuck it in there. So just striking across there and getting a nice smooth finish on it. It's a bit wet at the top. So you point all that first, <coughs> make sure it's all done and you haven't missed any bits.
and then just once that's once you've done that you just go over it with a nice soft brush um, in this case I've, I didn't have a soft brush but I found a uh, this is an eye scraper for a car and for some reason it had a brush on the end of it so I just sawed the handle off and I used that it just gets all the burrs off Thanks very much for watching and um, I hope you really hope you do just press like or subscribe that'll enable me to keep making videos like this um, my other video how to lace labs got quite a lot of views I'm very grateful about that and um, I'll probably be doing some more videos if if this one goes down well then I'll probably do how to lay footings and probably how to make a mix, how to do the mixes. But uh, for now, that's all. So thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.